Hello everyone today we have a Dr Chirayu Desai he is an associate professor of Gujarat Biotechnology University in department of environmental biotechnology he having total 14 years of experience so let's start with the interview my first question is to you sir when you came first to the Gujarat Biotechnology University what was your vision and how you are trying to achieve the same so uh, i have been teaching and doing research for the last several years and what uh, i have uh, seen is for uh, students uh, having a research based uh, teaching uh, learning experience and a research based teaching environment and learning by doing approaches uh, are the most suitable for their uh, career in order to close the gap between the industry and academia so students uh, having the experiential learning approaches uh, would have a better experience uh, in terms of skill development so that they can be absorbed not only in the industry but also they can become a good scientist a good critical thinker so i'm at gbu i'm promoting uh, these uh, approaches so we have a unique team of researchers in collaboration with the uoe uh, we are planning on various programs uh, through which we can lead to experiential learning and the students uh, would develop their own research problem they will develop their own hypothesis and they will develop their own solutions so that they are uh, ready for the real world challenges once they graduate from the gujarat biotech okay great sir so my next question is to you being the faculty of environmental biotechnology department what are your roles and responsibility toward the students yeah so our roles a teacher has a multifaceted role for each student and each student is important uh, irrespective of the department say a teacher has multiple roles in a student's life uh, not only uh, being a teacher not only being a supervisor not only being their mentor but also their counselor in order to solve their uh, challenges in uh, terms of learning uh, approaches so mostly uh, our roles uh, as a teachers would be to create an environment in which they learn so the environment which is conducive for the students to learn moreover the students uh, would be exposed to field trips and uh, in academia industry collaborations uh, in which the students can work uh, part of their uh, research uh, in industry and moreover we have uh, research based uh, dissertation projects uh, in which students can will be exposed to international higher education students will be doing research in uoe so selected meritorious students will be given the opportunity for internship and uh, they have summer programs in which the students will do internships in uh, various industries so as a department of environmental biotechnology we are focused most mostly on the translational research problem so uh, problems which are say for example in line with the national and the international policies for sustainable development goals so uh, waste to wealth approach uh, in which the uh, waste products not only the waste waters but also the agricultural waste so there are multiple types of waste which are being generated and uh, there are many innovations uh, that need to be developed in order to treat that waste so it's not only the treatment of the waste but the waste products would be considered as a resource and uh, value added by products can be recovered along with the biofuels and bioenergy which can be recovered from the waste products so my next question is to you what are the best practice offered by the department to the student which help them to gain the necessary skills yeah so the best practice uh, as we discussed already so the students will be doing hands on uh, practicals in which they will be having various uh, different active learning approaches so active learning is not a kind of passive lecture based uh, typical learning system it is a new system which has been developed in collaboration with the university of edinburgh in which uh, we have various different approaches through which the students will gain their knowledge and there would be some challenge based practicals in which they are given a problem and they have to find a solution to that problem applying all the skills which they have learned here so uh, and that way uh, students will aim at uh, solving important problems which are being faced by the society and if uh, they come up with a good solution we also have a startup and a bio incubation facilities uh, which they can 
utilize and come up with their own startup programs. So basically the focus will be to develop graduates who would either be an excellent scientist uh, or the, those uh, students who would have an excellent uh, industry uh, professional work experience or those students who can go for entrepreneurship or develop their own industries on various innovative uh, problems uh, for which uh, the solutions are immediately needed to uh, develop uh, a circular bioeconomy, say for example, uh, through waste biorefinery approaches. Because if they are interested in a particular area, then definitely they will be passionate about working in that area and gaining the skills and mostly the experiential learning approaches that we offer at GVU will lead to their skill development and the competition uh, that is faced uh, by the students would be reduced uh, a little bit firstly because of their own passion because they have chosen a area in which uh, their interest is and uh, they will work for that uh, goal, career goal as well as uh, because of the experiential approaches which they gain uh, at GBU and uh, learn the relevant skills uh, which makes them industry ready especially if the students are job seekers who would uh, want to uh, get placed in an industry moreover GBU would also uh, be helpful for those students who want to become a scientist who want to be critical thinkers and who want to solve the real world challenges. So uh, the graduates uh, would have different uh, niche uh, based on their interest and uh, based on their interest, uh, they can either uh, cut the competition by going for higher studies. As you go for higher studies, there are multiple opportunities also. So if you have a research-based degree, which is a unique program here, it is a MSc which is based on a research based uh, curriculum and uh, you go for a PhD and a postdoctoral research. Normally the PhD students are well placed uh, uh, depending on the quality of the research work and uh, the students also have the option to uh, be a job uh, giver instead of being a job seeker by uh, having their own uh, startup uh, industry. So there are multiple approaches through which uh, the students first have to realize their own passion, their own strength and their own weakness and the type of career which is most suitable for them to pursue. So that is what uh, we teachers at GBU uh, make them realize and make them to work uh, on their uh, professional career goals. Okay, great sir. So, my last question is to you, what valuable advice would you like to give the students for them the prospect career ahead? So, my advice would be to pursue a career in which they are most passionate about. Biotechnologists are required at many places and uh, they have to uh, give their 100% uh, and first do a lot of planning for the career and uh, pursue the plan uh, which they make for themselves uh, diligently and uh, be innovative in whatever they pursue as their career. Okay, thank you sir. I would like to conclude the interview now. So thank you for such all information. It is very helpful for the all students and the parents. Thank you so much for the all information sir. Thank you.